I've been sitting on the fence for the Loewe puzzle bag for a while, so let me go over all the cons in case you're looking for something to convince you out of it. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm looking at the Loewe puzzle bag and I want to go over all the cons associated with it if you need someone to talk yourself out of getting the puzzle bag. Now before I get started, if you like the content on this video, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really help a lot. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So I've been on the fence about the Lil Wavy puzzle bag for a while now and I've just read so many videos about how amazing it is. So. I thought it would be helpful to go over like the polar opposite side over cons of the puzzle pick in case this is helpful for anybody who's sitting on the fence about it and just need to be convinced out of it. Like I'm reading a lot about how everybody likes it and I'm still humming and hawing and you know that I've gone and checked out the bags myself. If you're interested, you can check out my shopping video for the Loewe puzzle bag as I contemplating over the different sizes available and that's available on my YouTube channel but before I go over all the cons of course I think I need to go over the pros and why I even considered it in the first place. I mean I have like seven main pros that I want to go over. I, at first I was thinking like do I really need another bag? I have so many handbags already and I do have something of similar size that serves similar function and I just need to talk myself out of it. A lot of times I would just ask my husband for his opinion because um, he's usually really blunt and really helpful in um, helping me stay on the ground. Um, but for this video, I thought I will talk myself out of it and go to the cons myself. Is this bag really that much of a hype? Is it ultra practical? Well, let me go over the pros first before I go on the con. Pros number one. It is a very practical and casual enough bag that you can use for day in, day out. It, it is a very versatile bag in terms of styling. I love how you can carry it as a top handle and then you can also use a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Number two, I love how handy it is. It has that outer zip pocket for things that you need to grab and go quickly. Number three, it's easy to adjust the strap um, relative to, I would say, other bags. And that's really important to know because strap length is very different um, depending on your height or my height myself. So I thought that would be a very important point to bring out. Number four for pros, I would say it is really understated, minimalistic, and super sophisticated. I love how there are no flashy logos and it's visually just very interesting. I always hear how people say it is so unique and so amazing. Number five for pros, it is really high quality. We know that Loewe is known for high quality. It is made out of ultra durable leather. It is a bag that doesn't need to be babied and I really love that. And if you have dirt on it, you just kind of remove it with like some baby wipes and it's like no problem. Pro number six, I think that it just has some really good sizes available for you to kind of make it work for your lifestyle. Like the small size particular I really like. It's not too big, not too small. Fits like a 500 ml water bottle and a small umbrella. And finally, pro number seven, nobody realizes that it's a pricey designer bag. It's so understated. It's not like logo heavy, unlike let's say Louis Vuitton or Chanel, where it's just blatantly, you know, it is a luxury designer bag. And I really love that about the Louis V puzzle bag. So those are my seven pros. Now I want to go over the cons, the seven cons as I'm trying to convince myself I don't need to add another handbag to my collection. Number one, this is something that I've heard so much about from other people is that they don't like that flap that covers the zipper. It makes it really difficult to get in and out of the bag. 
And I think that's really important because after all, a bag is meant to be functional. And if it's really hard for you to get in and out of, doesn't that defeat the purpose of having a useful handbag? Number two, the handle could be nice if it was a touch longer. You can see it's like a shorter handle. If it was a little bit longer, it'd be nice that you can put it on the crux of your arm and it'll be a little bit roomier, especially like in the winter time where you're wearing thicker jackets and you just want a little bit more room. Number three, you can't fit a phone in the back pocket. I feel like if there is any need for a zipper back pocket in a bag and it's for easy access item, it's probably going to be your phone. So it's really too bad that it doesn't fit the phone. Just kind of boggles me. Number four for cons. The bag is slightly boxy for a crossbody when you wear it, but over time, as you get used to it, it becomes slouchy. And I'm really like torn about it because like I love how poxy it looks, but like sometimes when it looks really slouchy, especially you don't, when you don't have too many items inside, it just looks really worn and tattered. I think I prefer it a little bit boxier, but like being soft grain leather, it is going to be a little bit less structure compared to smooth leather. So if you're not a fan of the slouchy look, I would suggest getting the smooth leather. Con number five is the weight. I have really mixed feelings about it. Um, does anybody else find it a little bit on the heavier side? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, it is a full leather bag. Granted, so if you want something lighter, you might choose another type of material. But I love the durability that it is leather. So that is a draw for me. Number six is that it has no feet on the bottom for the regular size or the smaller size. The older version of it has feet on the bottom, which is really nice. It makes like a little bit more sophisticated, um, prevents any wear on the bottom of the bag. Although I think it would make the bag a little bit heavier, but like feet is kind of like pockets in a dress. It's nice to have, right? And last but certainly not least, number seven for con is the price. This is not a cheap handbag. If you look at the mini puzzle bag and soft grain calfskin, it's $3,470. If you're looking for the small size, $4,750. This is not a cheap bag by any means. So it makes me like really torn. Is it worth it to buy the Loewe puzzle bag? What do you guys think? Is it overrated or underrated? I've gone over like my top seven pros and cons associated with it. I also think that it comes down to your style. If you don't like the boxiness and the geometric shapes associated with it, it does give me a really modern look. It's not like a true classic, I would say. I would say like you probably don't want to go with this handbag. Still not sure if I would bite the bullet and buy the handbag. Would I regret it? For those of you who own one, do you love it or like, would you suggest passing on it? I hope this video is helpful for you as there's a lot of opinion online that about how amazing it is, but I think sometimes we just need to hear the other side of things. Like, do some of you think this is the new classic or is it just a trend? Or like some people mentioned the pandemic kind of extend the longevity of this trend. I mean, there are similar handbag silhouettes of this elsewhere in other fashion houses. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a true classic. And other brands I've heard of, including like Miloy, offers the Naomi bag that is like significantly cheaper in price, but has a similar look, but I would say it's definitely a bit more structured. Well, that's it for the video today. I hope you find it helpful as I go over the cons associated with the Loewe puzzle bag. Is it worth it? Would you suggest buying it? Or do you find that my video has talked you out of getting this puzzle bag? I would love to know. Well, that's it for today. Hopefully, I'll see you in another mommy review. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.